Hello audience, and welcome to Amnesia the Dark Descent, as I continue along questing for courage. Previously, I had started to storm into this room, sort of like a boss, and then realized there was another monster who was much more boss than me, kind of owned the place, and I went running back out. Man, a lot of redecorating. Oh gosh, that thing from the top there. Yes, I know, Wind. You always think you're so awesome. If I remember right, there was a gate I could not open before. Ha 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 ha. I remembered. Unfortunately, I do not know what to do here. Maybe. Aha, excellent. Previously, I could lift things like you. What about you? Well, fudge circles. Fudge circles and cream. Okay. There must be something in this room. No, I guess I could try a box. Somehow doubt that would work. Oh, a note. August, 1839. I cannot believe what I have become. One of the girls escaped and I chased after her all the way upstairs. I hunted her down and... What is her life worth? How many lives can I take before I surrender my own? Sure, I would kill a murderer to save an innocent. But to kill an innocent to save myself? A cold-blooded murderer. Yes, Daniel. I'm glad that you saw the value in that uh, talk we had. Excellent. <gasps> A rock would work. Uh. Suckers! Oh! My face! Oh! In hindsight, that was an awful idea. Oh, but I lived, and I stopped the machine, so I guess it's okay. I don't think of it though, Freud, are you anywhere here, Freud? Freud, 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 Freud. Why can't Freud be with me now? <laughs> I miss Freud. Oh gosh! <sighs> Edgy monsters. Woo! I am so out of here. Woo! Okay. Monsters, leave me alone. Alright. Now I must. I think. Start putting things in here. Oh, okay, fine. I did bring the tar. Excellent. Excellent. It's almost complete. Ho 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 ho! Whoa! Oh 
no, I think I wanted to keep that. Oh well. What? What's behind me? What's behind me? Let me in! Let me in! Oh no. Oh. If it wasn't for Alexander, he would still be innocent and able be able to die, so. Oh my gosh, this is not cool. Something is mad. No, Jose. Stay behind the door. What? What's happening? What's happening? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did I just die? Oh, that's sad. Oh, no. I don't know how to run. <laughs> I have no idea what I was supposed to do. That's not good. What the? Oh, handles. Handles. Okay. Okay. Handles. Cool. No. It's August. 1839. Oh, take a break. It's not oh. fair. I'm not to blame. to blame. Yes, you I've are. Daniel, we had to talk about demon. this. You're guilty. My guilty oh my goodness. Duped me into facing the shadow alone. Really? That vile, conspiring man. He expects me to meet my death as he steals power beyond imagination. Alexander, I will kill you for what you have done. If only the shadow had caught me in London or Algeria. I wouldn't have to suffer this humiliation. Well, I guess this you is made sort of me true. a murderer. You became a murderer, a Daniel. And now, I merely await my death. I'm too weak to press on. I can hardly stand as my knees fail me. I cannot see as my eyes are dressed in tears. Well, you're writing I'm very well for someone who can't see, Daniel. Tortured. If only I could wipe my fear away. As we did with them. Yes, there's a way. <gasps> Freud! Freud, what do I do? Find the lever. Find the lever, Risk. Where though? Oh! Okay. I think I found the lever. I think I found it. I need another lever. Oh no. Okay, I didn't need another lever. Freud, you're in a different book. I told you I can travel between books. It's just one of the things I do. No! It's alright, Risk. Keep running. You are close. So close. What happened? What? What? What's going on? I don't understand. I don't understand. Oh. Okay. Some lot of damn. Freud. Freud. Oh no, I dropped you somewhere. I'm out here. Don't worry about me. Oh gosh. It hurts so much. Oh. What do I do? Freud! <sighs> but I did those. What's hurting me so? Oh yeah? I'm not running out of oil now. What the? Right. Right. I'm dead if something doesn't happen. Oh, it hurts, and I don't even know what's hitting me. Right.
died. Did I glitch it? Ow! Right! It hurts! Right. I don't know what to do right now. I still have this wooden turn crank, but I don't know what it's for. Um. I. I don't know. I really honestly thought that would work, Risk. Right, it's not working. I don't know what to do, Freud. <sighs> oh gosh, and I keep getting attacked by things and I don't even know what they are, Freud! Well, that door should be open. Oh, Freud. Freud. Yeah, Risk. I'm here. Right, nothing makes sense. Something should have happened. Maybe I need to sacrifice you to the demons. No! What the? Oh gosh! Freud! Freud, come with me! Freud, don't leave me now! You're about to sacrifice me to demons. Now you want me? Freud, I think it broke the wall down. Yes, it did. Okay, just a second. I'm... Oh, I'm actually okay right now. Alright. So, I need to make it. Oh gosh! Oh, it hurts! Okay, Freud! Run, Risk. Don't look back. It's coming for you. No, don't say things like that. Okay. I'm sorry, Freud. It's alright, go on. Win the day, Risk. The sight of a lifeless body crippled his psyche. Tried to remove himself from the scene, but he could not. Instead, he fell to his knees and begged her for forgiveness. I was wondering Whoa. if you were going to show up. I see a Agrippa convinced you to run some... What? Problems. Tell me, is everything nice and clear now? Am I the villain? Whoa. Good and evil. Such comforting concepts, but hardly applicable. Oh, really? Oh! That you see no good in okay, me you're right, don't touch that. In Agrippa. Oh, Agrippa's pretty selfish. She asked me to do things when I'm trying to save my life. I do understand that. Whoa. Whoa. This is pretty cool, dude. Your inner sanctum's pretty fetching awesome. I'm not even gonna lie. I wonder about the floating rocks, though. That seems a little bit architecturally unsound. Also, your ambient music. Can we change the CD? I don't like the ambient music. It's pretty awful, actually. And don't drop one of those rocks on me. We used to be friends, remember? And also, you should probably, like, put on some clothes or something. I mean, seriously. Wow. What is this thing? Is it like a Vite engine? Not even sure what to do right now. I think I need to wait for a gate to appear. Is it going to appear? Wow. This is fascinating stuff, man. Your force shield's a little annoying, though. Do I you see it? Whoa. A hole. You are sure not going home, buddy. Oh, isn't it beautiful? I can finally return home. You probably shouldn't return naked, though. 
But it's actually working, you knew what you were talking about. No, you fool! You have ruined us! Ha ha ha! You were gonna kill me anyway! Ha ha ha! Sucker! Oh gosh, he ate you. Shadow! Shadow! I'm sorry! No, don't eat me, Shadow! No! Oh! Goodness! Got eaten. And now I'm lost. In the stars. Ah. Wow. It's like darkness and then stars. I can walk toward the stars. There he is. Do you see him, Vaya? He deserves so much more. Please, help him. I know you can. Help me. Where am I? Don't worry, Daniel. It will be all right. Oh, Grandpa! I love you now. I love you, Agrippa. Yay. A Frictional Games production. Well, finally, Amnesia is done. That game freaking scared the crap out of me a lot. Like, I had to buy whole packages of underwear in bulk to finish this game. And they were really good about everything. One thing that Frictional Games really understands uh, is that horror really isn't about necessarily the monsters. It isn't necessarily about the jump scares. Horror is about getting into your head. And I, I don't know, as that note on torture said, that the human mind imagines things more terrifying than reality could present. And so as they get in your head and make you think about everything that's happening and think it's all real and think about the horror it is and keep like holding it off on you, it's it's fantastic. Now one thing that I didn't care for a whole lot, well, I should say it's a small weakness, is that How do I state this? Some the scares became in a way predictable. They always seemed to revolve around, you know, a new door, a new room or whatever or um particularly in the beginning it was all about items. You picked up an item and oogly boogly things are jumping out at you to eat you. And in my mind, you got to be careful, really careful in a horror game to have any kind of a pattern to how any of your scares happen. Because you really just need to build up, build up, build up, and hit them when they are not expecting it. Now sometimes if you can get them built up to the point where they do expect it, and give them a couple seconds to relax after it doesn't happen, then hit them, that can be uh, pretty powerful indeed. Anyway, gameplay-wise, fantastic. Love the physics-based stuff. It gives you something to play around with while you're afraid. The gameplay is excellent. Horror aspects are excellent. The story's fantastic. I would say that the game is quite excellent. A few minor things that could be improved, but I mean, really, excellent job. The end. And that concludes Amnesia: The Dark Descent. Thank you for watching with me and joining me on my quest for courage. Not sure I found it in this title, we'll see if I can find it in the ones to come. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.